Hey everybody, obviously I've been delayed in getting out the devotionals this week, but this has been one of those weeks where I need to just embrace my limits. And that's hard, isn't it? Isn't it hard to embrace our limits? Limits feel like less, and we just want to push past them. We want to try to do more. We try, want to try to exceed. We want to try to be better. And yet, learning to live within your limits can actually be an incredibly freeing thing that doesn't lead you to doing less, but it leads you to doing what God wants you to do with even greater efficiency. Psalms chapter 15 verses 5 through 6 says, You are my portion and my cup of blessing. You hold my future. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Indeed, I have a beautiful inheritance. You see, we all have boundary lines. We all have limits that we need to live within. We all have the same limit of time. There's always so much time in each day. We also have limits in abilities. We have different abilities to do things. We have limits in capacity. We have different capacities to do things. Our health can limit us sometimes. We all have different boundaries and there's tremendous freedom to be found in learning to live within those boundaries. When you throw a dart, you're trying to limit that dart to the boundary of the bullseye. When you roll a bowling ball, you're trying to limit that bowling ball roll to the boundary of the lane and not going into the gutters. Living inside boundaries are not bad things. No, it can actually help you be very focused. And the more focused you are, the more you can accomplish the right thing. See, I think a lot of times we're trying to do a lot of different things. But by doing a lot of different things, we might not be as effective as we could be in giving all that energy and focusing it on just a few things that are the really important things. We all have limits and learning to focus ourselves and work within our limits can actually lead to greater effectiveness. Now, limits should not be excuse for laziness. Oh, I just have limits, so I can't do this. And, you know, we, we use that as an excuse to binge watch Netflix. We use that as an excuse to move away from self-care and into self-indulgence. Like, limits should not be an excuse for laziness. But what they can be is they can help us have a clear set of priorities, right? There's only so much time in a day and only so much abilities that we have, so much capacity we have, then what are the priorities that I should be living by? Now, there's two questions that can help us really clarify our priorities. First, what do I need to do today for my spiritual health? What do I need to do today for my spiritual health? Jesus said very clearly, what does it matter if a man gains the whole world and yet loses his soul? There is nothing more important to us than our spiritual health health. This past year, we've been trained a lot to focus on our physical health, sometimes even to the neglect of our spiritual health. Friends, that should not be so. Physical health is important, yeah, but never as important as our spiritual health. And so what are the things that I need to do today for my spiritual health? That usually starts with prayer and Bible reading and making sure that we're having fellowship, making sure that we're participating in the life and community of our local churches. Like, Prioritizing our spiritual health, that is always the first thing that we need to have as we try to focus on what God has for us. And the second thing we should think about is within the roles I have, what are the things that only I can do? There's always a lot of good things that we can do, but what are the things that only I can do? And so for me, I'm a husband and I'm a father. And there's no one else who can be a husband to my wife or father to my children. Those are things that only I can do. And so as I go throughout the day, what are ways that I need to be as a husband and as a father faithful to the Lord? What are things that only I can do within those roles? And then within my job and vocation, what are things that only I can do? There's lots of things that I can do as a pastor. There are endless things that are good to be able to do as a pastor. But as the lead pastor of Christ Church, there's only a few things that only I can do. And so really, when it comes to limits, I think what we're trying to figure out is, are we okay with being who God has called us to be? Right? God has given us limits. We are who we are because God has made us certain ways. And so are we okay with how God has made us? I think a lot of times our desire to work outside of our limits comes from us trying to achieve something that only God 
can give. Right, this verse says that we are blessed as we work within the limits that God's given us. And so as we come to Christ, we say, Christ, all my blessing is in you. All spiritual blessings are in Jesus. Therefore, I don't have to work harder in order to be blessed. No, I already have all spiritual blessings in Christ. I think a lot of times we can push past our limits because we're worried about the future. But God's assured us that our future is with Him. He accepts us in Christ for all eternity. And so I don't know what tomorrow holds, but I know that ultimately I'm going to be with Christ forever. And so therefore I don't have to fear the future and work frantically to try to make secure everything. No, I can work within my limits as I rest in the future that I have secured in Christ. Jesus says that my inheritance is in Him. God has given us not only spiritual blessings, he's given us not only a future with him, he's given us, us this rich inheritance in Christ. In Christ, I am a son of God, an heir to all that God graciously gives in Jesus. Forgiveness, adoption, justification, assurance of future sanctification, the promise of eternal glorification like there's just this rich incredible inheritance that we have in Christ that I don't have to work for at all like regardless of what I accomplish today my inheritance has already been secured for me by Jesus and what he accomplished through his life death resurrection and ascension and so the gospel the good news of Jesus frees us to live within the boundaries that God has given us Yes, we need to maximize the talents that he's given us. Yes, we should work hard. Yes, we should not give into laziness. Yes, we should shed away the idol of self-indulgence and we should give ourselves selflessly for others. Yes, work hard, exhaust yourself for Jesus, but do that within the limits that God's given you. Don't push against your limits, but recognize your limits as God's gift of blessing that he's given you to help focus you on what he wants you to do and that you can be focused on those things. You can give yourself to those things. You don't have to fret about your limits. You don't have to try to work outside of your gifts, abilities, talents, and time. You don't have to look to other people and be like, why can't I be like them? No, God has made you to be like you. Live within your limits. We have freedom to do that because all that we get in God does not come from what we accomplish in this life. All that we get from God comes from the good news of Jesus. And so this is what allows us to live within our limits to live within the priorities that God sets for us. For indeed, our boundary lines have fallen in pleasant, in good, in soul-satisfying places.